The wise men bumped along on their camels. Are we there yet? They groaned. Look, there's the temple, one of them shouted. At last, said another, we finally reached Jerusalem. Say, do you think we'll meet the king today? They asked each other. The wise men clicked at their camels. Hurry up, they said. They couldn't wait to see the king. In the city, the wise men asked everyone they met, where is the child, the king of the Jews? What child, said the people. We don't know who you're talking about. The people of Jerusalem worried. Where are you from? You're not Jews. Why are you looking for our king? We are from a far country in the east, answered the wise men. We saw the child's star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. Soon a palace servant whispered in their ears, King Herod wants to see you, he said. The wise men followed the servant. Would Herod tell them where to find the Christ, the king of the Jews? At the palace, Herod told the wise men, The scriptures say that the Christ will be born in Bethlehem. Go look for the child there. But once you find him, come back to tell me, said Herod. I want to go and worship him, too. The wise men set off to Bethlehem. They bounced along on their camels, happy to be on their way. But soon they began to wonder. There are so many houses, so many little boys, they said. How will we know which child is the king? Suddenly, a bright light appeared in the sky. They knew this light. It was the same special star they had seen before. Hooray, they shouted. They sang and clapped and laughed with joy. God had sent the star to show the way. Quickly, they followed the star until it stopped over a small house in Bethlehem. This must be the place, they whispered. Inside the house, they saw the child's mother, Mary. Her toddler son, Jesus, was with her. The wise men fell to their knees before Jesus. They bowed their heads to the ground and worshipped the young king. Then they opened their treasure chests. They set before him the finest gifts of their country, gold and two precious spices called frankincense and myrrh. At last, the wise men had found the king. They knew he was not just the king of the Jews. He was their king, too. But not everyone would worship this king. In a dream, God warned the wise men not to go back to King Herod. Herod didn't really want to worship Jesus. He wanted to kill him. So the wise men traveled home by a different way. Sparkies, here's what you can learn from the wise men's biography. Jesus is the King of Kings, the Savior of all people everywhere. Worship Jesus, your Savior. Love, obey, and serve Him forever. You can read more about the wise men in your Bible. Look up the New Testament book of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12.